morning hello and welcome to our live crafting session this evening my name is Jenny McCormack and I am a stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley that's in Northamptonshire here in the UK thank you for joining me for my second live video for this week it is the 7th of March 2024 and here in the UK it's Thursday evening a little after 7 p.m. obviously you may be watching this either on replay or at another time here on Facebook or on YouTube you may also be watching this from somewhere else in the world, in which case it might be the morning, the afternoon or the evening. So a warm welcome to you wherever you are and whenever you're watching. Latte Love is our stamp set of the week. This is from Stampin' Up and this consists of a stamp set, a set of optional coordinating dies, a series of paper, that match with the theme of coffee and then we also have some ribbon and some little um, gem embellishments that you can use to match. On Monday I showed you using this element here and the two latte designs a simple card that we're using for coffee and card. This evening I thought I'd show you some of the dies and use those to make a card with the dies as opposed to the stamps. So there are a lot of dies in the set. There are 15 stamps in the stamp set and then the coordinating dies which actually the majority of which work on their own. There are 20 dies in total obviously some of the dies cut out these elements here but they also cut out elements from the papers so it may be that you've got the papers and the dies so as well as the this one here that cuts out the standard mug we have the same element that cuts out the bird's eye view mug here and also there is a circle that cuts out the two latte designs. If you had a circle punch, you could obviously cut those out as well if you wished. Hi Teresa and good evening to you. Thank you for your message earlier in the week and just to let, your know, let you know that your post has arrived safe and sound. Thank you so much. We also have the coffee beans and other elements. So let's see, this one does the, if I can get it off the backing, they're designed not to, um, not to come off. So we have two here that make, that do the beans, cut the little beans out like so. There's two of those. And then this one cuts out the individual bean. I'm not going to remove it because knowing me, I will lose it. But there's the individual bean in the stamp set. Actually, there's three of those. So you could stamp and cut out all three together. There is a spoon stamp and a spoon die. And then the rest of the dies cut out some other elements. So we have this um, filter coffee pot here which consists of a handle I know I've got that on the wrong side there we go I'll just do it this way for the time being so it's got a handle you've got the um, main element and then you've got this which is the coffee and then we also have the coffee that fits in the cafetiere which is what I'm going to cut out shortly and there's a lid here for the percolator as well that goes on like so like that okay I'm going to put those down so I don't lose them as I do have a habit of doing that 
<laughs> so with the cafetiere we have a base die and I've used that already to cut that out in black as you can see black card we have this element here which is for the glass jug and I've cut that out um, in a window sheet so you're not going to be able to see it particularly well other than the fact that it's probably going to reflect on my screen as you can see there um, but that will allow us to have a glass jar you could also use vellum if you wanted to and if you don't have any stamping up window sheet or any acetate there's a couple of things you can do you can use the sheet that comes on top of your stamps and it doesn't matter which set of stamps you use um, that's what I've actually used to cut this out of you could also use if you just had some cellophane packaging um, for example here like I send um, in my class in a box you could just cut it out of some cellophane packaging if you wanted to or an odd scrap of um, clear plastic that you may have so this is going to go behind here and I'm going to attach it onto our layer and as I say I know you can't see it hi Carol thanks for joining us and good evening to Caroline Carol and Caroline and it's um, National Carol Day um, so Facebook advises me okay so this panel here came out of the coffee jar so you could um, cut that in a different colour but there's also this element here that allows you to put um, coffee actually into the cafetiere so I'm going to cut that out probably in espresso and then we also have these cute cutest cute little cups and what I like about this is there's one on one side and one on the other and that's the only um, downside personally to this set is I would love to have seen um, a mug facing the other direction now you can use um, reverse stamping or mirror stamping to do that um, but it would have been nice and easy to have one that faced either way you could of course use this mug die cut and cut it out of some fancy paper um, and then turn it round so that you have two pieces and if you wanted it to be the same piece of paper for example so you had matching cups um, then you'd cut one that way and then cut the other one that way so that when you turned it over you would then have the right side on both and you'd have them facing does that make any sense I might um, if I can find a piece that will fit I might just show you that quickly it will just about fit on there let's see if it'll go that way okay let me just do that so I'm going to cut one that way and one that way and I can cut them together so just to show you how to get that effect make sure I don't leave my die behind because I'll be looking for that later so by cutting one in one direction and one in the other you've then got two teacups sorry that wasn't the best choice of paper was it we turn it over it might be better this way around like so let me find a dark piece to put behind it then you'll see it better like so okay so if you've got a die and you want to reverse it then as i say take two pieces of paper make sure they're turned over so you've got a different side facing you cut them at the same time if you want or separately if you prefer can be card it doesn't have to be paper 
um, and then you'll have two that face each other that's that one there so that's today's top tip so let's see what I'm going to do with this so I've got I've cut out the percolator and I've cut this out in black mainly so you could see it but you could also cut this out in gold you could snip off the lid there's two little sort of markers where it's attached and if you wanted to you could then have a gold lid or a different colored lid so I've cut out my piece with my um, layer and basically we're going to fit that onto there like that and I think what I'm going to do is put a little dot of glue on here and then place my piece on top it's got a little spout not sure that you can see that really just where my finger is here there's a little spout so I'm just going to make sure that that is just below the lid so let's grab some ink um, not ink indeed glue that'll be it it's been a long day <laughs> and it doesn't matter that you will see a little bit of this um, glue on the back because it's actually going to be face down anyway oops I don't think I need to put any on the top so really just on those two panels and on the base of the top there so obviously the spout is going to be the opposite side to the handle that's pretty key just pressing this on here like so And you can see that you really only need a very small amount of glue because obviously it's got nowhere to go like so okay I'm gonna move that if I can just carefully to dry remember when that when you're dealing with non porous surfaces surfaces it will take longer to dry good evening to you Nicole and welcome Okay, so there's my cafetiere. I'm going to cut some cups and then you've also got this single die that cuts two pieces and they are for the coffee or the tea that's going to go in the top of the cups and then this one here as well as cutting out the element for the stamp set which is this one I think it would work well as a saucer for your cups so let's grab um, let's have what color cup shall we have so you could have some pattern paper for your cups if you wanted she says looking to see what she's got to hand I have got the um, these little fun ones with the coffee beans on but maybe I'll just go maybe I'll just go plain for my cups let's have a little bit of boho blue and then for my coffee in my um, cafetiere which is this one here I'm going to use a little off cut of early espresso so just take a little piece of that like so and then my coffee in the cup or it could be tea could be anything really I've got a little off cut of pecan pie and so I'm going to use so that's going to go onto there that's my cups that's going to be the tea or the coffee so I don't need a huge piece 
just cut a small piece like that. Okay, so we're just using the dies basically. So I'm going to do my cups and saucers with this. And I'll need to cut two of those. But as I say, I'm not sure it's designed to be a saucer. But I think it would, definitely think it would work. So I'm just going to lift these all up and pop them onto my plate. So bear with me for a second. I can probably put them all on at the same time. Let's grab our pots of coffee and then finally the coffee for our cafeteria. Okay, so it's the first time I've used the dies. So let's see. Oh, I've lost the coffee cup on the way. Okay, so here's a coffee cup. Cute. These are our little bits of tea or coffee that are going to go in the top. This, as I say, is designed to go in the top of the normal cup, but I think it works perfectly as a little saucer. And then this is going to be the coffee in our cafetiere. So I just need to cut um, the other cup because it moves slightly. So let me just do that quickly. As I said, you could easily cut the mugs out of patterned paper. So these are smaller, obviously, than the one in the stamp set, which I've got here on the left hand side. Um, so there we go, two of those and one of those. Just cut those out quickly. So I hope everybody's had a good day. It has been nice and dry here today, but quite cold, quite cold. Okay. So there's our other cup, they're very cute, and our other saucer, let's move those to one side, and then let's put these together, I'm just going to move these out of the way for the minute, and then I'll hopefully collect them all up afterwards and I won't have any missing. Okay, so this tiny little piece here, oh, pierce my mat, is going to be the tea inside or the coffee inside of here. So let's put the tiniest amount of glue on here and here. And I think you probably can't see this, but there's a, um, a score line for the top of the cup and a score line at the bottom. But it's so dinky, you probably can't see that. <laughs> it is small and fragile. There's no doubt about it. Um, I could do with my other pokey tool just to lift these up, but this will do. Okay, so I'm going to put one on here, like so. If you have our fine tip glue, which I have somewhere but I can't see it, or you have a glue pen, that would definitely work for this as well. Okay, so I've got a little bit of glue on my cup. So you don't have to use these layers if you don't want to, just adds that little bit of detail I think. And then as I say this piece is actually designed to go inside the larger cup as the coffee, but I think 
it works perfectly as a little saucer like so and so sorry they're so tiny I realized you can hardly see them let me slide them onto here I'll put one onto here anyway get the right way around all right let me bring that up to the screen a little bit better there you go and it won't focus on it very well but a cute little coffee cup okay so we've got two coffee cups we've got our cafetiere of which i put cut this back layer out of window sheet so you can just see it there reflecting in there and so we can put our coffee in there and again it's got score lines so we can have our coffee in there um i was going to put it behind but i think actually What I should have done is put it on what well, it just fits on the black so I should have attached it to the cafetiere first and then put the window sheet behind um, because I'm worried about it showing through so I think what I'm going to do is what what am i going to do folks i could put the tiniest glue dot on the bottom to hold it in place like that i think that's what i'm going to do so i'll bear that in mind uh next time oh empty box of glue dots here they are that you want to attach that layer first Okay, so let's grab a glue dot and I'm going to sort of stretch it normally I would say don't don't manipulate your glue dots with your fingers because they can become slightly untacky but for the purposes of this today I'm going to stretch my glue dot out like so like that so it actually runs along the back of the window sheet but on the the black of the cafetiere if that makes any sense okay so this has got a front and a back so I'm going to put that So it just touches there there we go and it also gives a slight 3d effect then doesn't it because actually it does need to be behind the glass of course okay so we've got that um, we've got our little cups and saucers like so okay so let's design our card using those elements so let's see i'm going to put i think what i'm going to do is when i put my teacups down i'm going to put that with the dimension so it sits just slightly proud of the saucer so i'm not going to attach those two together at this point okay so let's see what i've got it really wants to go it could go either way um, let me grab some designer paper to put behind. Um, let's see what I've got. So I've got my blue bits there. I wonder. 
paint it too dark. So maybe I've got this one that's got all the rings or the coffee beans or the plaid maybe. So I could almost have that as if it as if it was you know a tablecloth or something or maybe just a strip of that would be best could even do it at a jaunty angle no it's going to be straight because i want it to be like a tablecloth so let's cut that just gonna cut let's see three and a half centimeters Just going to cut this element at the top. I'm not going to cut it all the way down because I may not need that. Okay. All right. So I've got this piece that I've cut. Now I'm wondering whether. I could use the scallop dies from the scallop contour to put a scallop edge to make it look like the edge of a tablecloth. What do you think? And it's only because I was using the scallop contours today to do my stamp set of the week sample pack and I thought I haven't used that scallop ages and that would look rather nice I think very useful set the scallop contours guys they do have a matching stamp set which I haven't used for ages so I probably need to use it again but I'm thinking Thank you Carol. Carol says what a great tip, presumably about the um, two mugs. So I'm thinking to cut that like that. Uh, let's have a look and see. Let's cover my glue up and find a little bit of tape so it doesn't move too much. And excuse me, I am going to sneeze. So just a little bit of tape on there and I'm going to run that through. Now it doesn't really match my blue cups. Hey ho. such a sweet little border so as well as having the scallop it's got little dots all the way along it not sure whether you can see that probably doesn't pick it up in this light but it's very cute that's from the scallop contours dies right let's put that one away get those ready i need them Okay, so let's see. So I've got this. I might need to trim this down. Like so. And then I've got my cafetiere and my two cups. Okay, so the question is, what am I going to put in the background? I've got my cups and saucers. I should have maybe cut them out of Calypso Coral would have been better um, but it's a case of what I'm going to put in the background so I could just use a blending brush 
and do a little bit of um, blue sky to make it look like it was outside and that, this is a picnic tablecloth Oh, is that Lexi? Oh, hi, Lexi. <laughs> um, right. Let's see what I'm going to do with this. So the background. All right, let me just trim that very edge of that off. I might get away with it with my scissors. think yeah just some I could do some curtains now if you remember the zoo set we had some curtains on there that would actually be quite sweet let me just see um, if I've got them to hand Just wondering if I've actually lent them to someone. Bear with me, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. zoo set we have these fabulous curtains oh yes that's so sweet I'm definitely going to use those so this is somebody's nice breakfast table looking out in the morning now I'm not going to use those colors um, because I want them to coordinate with this so let's just grab those dies this is the zany zoo dies and have all those fun zoo characters so we have a whoops and this has also got a little zigzag that could be used for a pelmet across the top like so now I'm probably not going to do that because I've used it for the bottom I think that would look a bit too much so um, but that is part of that set, along with all sorts of other things. So, the colour in this is Calypso Coral. So, this um, set of curtains is exactly the same, so I can cut two sets. So, let me grab some Calypso Coral. And our Thursday night session is always a little bit more experimental. So I'm just wondering now whether I should actually cut um, those coffee cups in the same colour while I'm at it. I think I'm going to. So let's just cut a panel of card like that. So I need to do two sets of curtains and then the two coffee cups and then the two saucers and then I need the inside drinks. Have I put them back like a good girl? Oh, 
Oh dear. Right. Okay, let's cut these out while I'm waiting. And I'll need to cut two of the saucers and two of the um, curtains. So bear with me while I do that. Afraid you have to talk talk amongst yourselves for a minute. <laughs> Can't believe I've lost that die already. Oh dear. If anybody saw where it went. Last time I did this I had to had to rewind my video to see where I put something and I did indeed find it okay so I'm going with my coordinating cups and saucers and of course I could cut out the curtains in the same fabric in the same paper but I think it might be just a little too much okay let's do this one and another saucer. There we go. Let's put that in there. There's another cup. Let's see what I've done with that die. It's the story of my life, this is. So I've got my other curtain. Get that out. And then I've got my other saucer. Don't lose that one, Jenny. Can't see what I've done with that other little die. It will turn up. They usually do. Not always. I have been known to order another set of dies. Okay, let's see how we're doing. So this is my this is my thought is there's my little tablecloth like so and then we've got this here this one here I've got my cafetiere here and then I've got my cups and saucers like so that's I should have done a different color for my things okay so I'm just wondering which way around yeah that needs to go on top doesn't it I could actually trim a little bit of this off from the top So it's not overlapping. Oh, I can't decide. I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, so that's my front. Let's put some glue on here. This is our tablecloth. So, like that to there, hopefully, that's fairly straight. And then we've got the curtains on either side. So what I'm going to do is just use a blending brush to do a little bit of sky behind here. So 
some blue at the ready and I suspect there's some blue, oops, blue in this already. Thank you for being patient with me, everybody. Yeah, there's some blue in there already. So just um, going to put a little bit of blue around here for the sky. If I've got one of those little um, birds or anything from the, I can see so actually, from the birds and dragonflies. You could also make this a complete scene. You could add trees in if you wanted to. But I'm just sticking with my little scene like so. So there's my sky behind it. The cup you see may have been knocked off with your sleeve right arm. Oh yes, quite possibly. Let's have a quick look. Yes, you're quite right. Thank you. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. I had a feeling I caught something. You superstar. Carol, thank you. Makes a difference when you know where to look. So this set is available to order now. Demonstrators were allowed to order it um, a month ago we get a sort of a month beforehand to pre-order that's one of the many perks of being a demonstrator right let me see let's pop our curtains on next and I'm I think I'm do them flat I'm gonna do them with dimensionals And do them with dimensionals. Just going to pop two on each one. There we go. Have you got this set, Carol? I wonder. Oh, bless you, Carol. She went back on my video. You superstar. Sometimes you can't always do that on a live. I don't, and I don't really know why sometimes you can and one time sometimes you can't so thank you for that so I'm just lining this up with the top of my card like so same with this one Cut. Cute little breakfast table. Okay, so here is our cafetiere. So you can put dimensions on this as long as you're making sure you put them on areas where you've got dark card. Okay, actually, what I'm going to do is put just space out my teacups first. Just so I don't run out of space. So, see cups. These could have yellow saucers, that would have been quite fun, wouldn't it? Like so. So, let's put. Let's see where they, how they're going to fit. One here. One here. And then, yeah, that will work. Like so. Maybe because I've got space to put my cups. Could have this one a bit further down. That might be better. Yeah. Okay, so now I know that that's going to fit. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. Put some dimensionals on. And then can be thinking about what sentiment I might use. 
we have got that hello there let's get together soon you could also do it as a, a get well card couldn't you i think that's a little bit too big let's trim that down just using these off cuts really I'm going to put this just overlapping a little bit. Oh, it's come apart. Look, oh, that's why <laughs> it's because I put adhesive on there. So I'm going to have this overlapping a little so I've got space for my teacups. I think so. And then they're not squashed in. Okay. So I'm going to put my saucers down flat. And then my little teacups on dimensionals, I think. Um, okay. and I'm just putting it down lightly in case I want to move it later because I've got a little bit of time to lift it if I haven't pushed it down too hard just want to see so that one's going to the right that one's going to the left so I could do with moving this just a little bit further over. That's better. There we go. Okay, so I can put a dimensional behind here and then I can put the um, inside, now we found the die, thank you Carol, of the tea or coffee. They could be different colours, couldn't they, if you wanted. It's missing a little milk jug, isn't it? I reckon. Okay, so there's one. The handle that way one with the handle that way like so it's very cute and then <laughs> these tiny little pieces here just a little tiny line of glue like so and really you want probably want tweezers to pick that up. I can never see my tweezers when I want them. There's one. So as always, just don't put too much wet glue on or cut them out with our self-adhesive sheet behind your cup. There we go. What do we think? You can't really see the um, glass of the cafetiere. If I, if I turn it there, you can see it. But there we go. Now I'm going to add a little bit more um, Thank you everybody for your kind comments. Carol and Nicole. So I'm just going to add a little bit more blue for our sky. If you had a picture frame, oh no, like a window frame, if you've got that old die that had the window on, it's probably actually not quite big enough for it going this way. Um, and then I have got those little bird, little birds. We can have some of those in our sky, couldn't we? 
Now I haven't left the sentiment space, but I could certainly put one in there, couldn't I? Right, that's going that way, and I want one going that way. And should really have three. There we go. There we are. There's our finished card. I could put the sentiment on. Let's just see if that will fit. I'm trying to think what else you could put on there. You could have a, just a hello, you know, have a good day sort of thing. So this says hello there. Let's catch up. Which would certainly fit on there if you wanted it to. What do we think? Yeah, let's go for it. So you just got to be careful because these are on dimensionals when you're stamping that you make sure that you're not leaning on dimensional and missing where you're stamping. So what I'm going to do is use a smaller block so that I can aim this straight over. And in fact, Sometimes what I will do is move it so that I can move it the wrong way now, I think. Yeah, so where I'm stamping, can you see the block is actually not over where the dimensions are? Okay, I'm going to have this flat because that all helps. And I think I'm going to do it in espresso rather than calypso coral because it feels like there's a lot of calypso coral going on there let me move those out of the light so i'm just going to stamp that sentiment let me grab espresso ink is it just here yes no it's not it's close There we go. So, yes, I didn't really have um, any idea <laughs> what I was going to stamp, what I was going to produce to start with. I knew I wanted to use the cafetiere and the teacups um, and see whether that worked, which it did. This is quite a light espresso, needs a bit more inking. But I think I'll be okay. So I'm just going to bring this down here. Hopefully I've got it fairly straight. There we go. That's finished. Hello there, let's catch up. I hope you like it. It's a little bit of fun. Um, you could cut your own curtains. Just cut it like a scallop. Um, if you had some patterned paper, you know, especially floral paper or something, that would definitely work. You could um, just cut those if you haven't got the zoo, um, zany zoo dies. And of course, I do ha happen to have some little bit of bling, but I don't think I need it because I've got my birds up there. Um, I think that's going to work perfectly as it is. So there we go. I hope you like it. I hope you, if you have the set, I hope you give it a go. If you've only got the stamps, you could still, um, well, you can't recreate the percolator, but you could cut out elements from the papers and do something similar. Um, one of these has got the cups on it. Of course, it won't be the one that I've got to hand. Nope. No. But there's one that's got all different cups on that you could cut out to do a similar sort of thing if you wanted to. So the suite is called Latte Love. You've got the stamp set. You've got the dies, which I've used here. You've got the papers. And I just happen to have used this piece here. Um, and I will make those little teacups up ready because I'm sure somebody will use those at some point. So there we go. Let me bring that up to the screen. 
so yeah came out came out better than I better than I thought especially as I didn't actually have <laughs> I didn't actually have a finished card in mind right I'm going to find all of those pieces that was that missing one thank you Carol for helping me find that um, and we're all done for today so thank you so much um, we have a whole series of new online exclusives including this set so you won't find them in a printed catalogue but you will find them online please um, do check those out on the website and um, if you have any queries or questions let me know I did send an email out yesterday I think um, to everybody giving you information about the online exclusives there's some fabulous sets in there do check them out any questions don't hesitate to message me email me text me whatever and I'll see if I can help you thank you so much I'm off to grab some dinner <laughs> do take care and have a great weekend <laughs> bye for now thank you